What is this Death Becomes Her musical all about? Let's talk about it. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Katherine Quinn. I am a 30-something living in New York City and working on Broadway. Last year I worked on Shucked and How to Dance in Ohio. This year I'm working on The Great Gatsby, other shows TBD. As always, the YouTube family is the first to know. And I'm here to talk about Death Becomes Her. Last week I had the extreme privilege of going to Chicago and seeing the pre-Broadway run of Death Becomes Her. These are the moments that make life worth living. It is headed to Broadway this fall. We already have a theater. We've already got dates. So here's what you need to know. This show is a blast. It is so much fun. It had previously been described to me by someone who had seen it earlier as Beetlejuice for middle-aged women, and that is it. It is Beetlejuice for middle-aged women. Call me a middle-aged woman. 38. Do it, it's fine. Oh, 28. I had a treat, I had a blast, it was a shame it couldn't last. Quick information, this show is starring Jennifer Samard. Let's take a moment for Jennifer Samard. Jen Samard is one of those actresses that you've probably seen in three or four Broadway shows, and she's always the funniest part of the show. Her voice is incredible. Well, it's been fun, but we gotta go. She was in the Company revival. She was in the Hello Dolly revival. This woman works. She has yet to really have her big starring moment on Broadway. I think she covered Patti Lapone in Company. We haven't seen her properly star like star and this i'm so excited i am such a fan of her regrettably this is life's ultimate cruelty she was not in the show the night that i saw it i did get to see her understudy natalie charlotte ellis who did a gorgeous incredible job my understanding is with very little rehearsal and she fucking <coughs> held her own and did an incredible job with megan hilty and chris sieber and was fantastic so i still need to see jennifer samard and I can't wait. And I still saw an incredible show. So you're in for a treat regardless. So as I stated, Megan Hilty is the other primary actress who is in this. And then Christopher Sieber, who is known for Spamalot and lots of really important great works, but mostly to me as Mary-Kate and Ashley's father in Two of a Kind, because I am of that generation. So we have Jen Zimard, Megan Hilty, Christopher Sieber, and Michelle Williams. This is Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child, not to be confused with Michelle Williams of Dawson's Creek, who is now a fancy actress. Not to say that she wasn't fancy in Dawson's Creek, she was fancy then too. Holy moly, Michelle Williams' voice is outrageous. We'll play a small clip here. Take a sip and drink it. It's incredible. For an out of town run, which essentially it's, we all know it's about to go to Broadway, so like they know that it's about ready. It's in great shape. It's in very good shape. It is very fun. The costumes are so beautiful. It's beautiful to watch, and this show is gay. Gay, not lesbian. Gay. Feels very, very gay male gays. Hi there. I'm totally here for it. The style of the music feels not contemporary musical theater like Joe Iconis, Pazic, and Paul, but contemporary musical theater like Adam's Family, like A Little Dirty Rotten. I think those are probably the two closest that I can think of sonically at the moment. So we've got a little spooky town USA because death becomes her. It's a dark comedy. Some of the lyrics are truly hysterical and incredible. Lyrics are a team. Julia Madison and Noel Carey. Julia Madison I know of from the Advent Carol and Dar. If you don't know, we'll play a clip of Xander the Snow Them here. Slay the house down boots, mama. Oh, look at Xander Vogue. She is a brilliant mad woman. I would like to be her friend. It's, is the plot revolutionary? No. Is it going to give you belly laughs? <laughs> that you haven't had since shucked closed? <laughs> yes. Which was honestly probably the most refreshing thing about it. I cackled and not a polite laugh. <laughs> like a Frickin' gotcha laugh. <laughs> funny line readings, but also a funny script by Marco Panetti. Oh my God. To find funny. Zingers. So if you are looking for a good time at the theater, which this fall I suspect we will all be looking for a good time in general, regardless of which way the election goes, we're all, everyone's just gonna need a little pick me up, you know? I highly recommend this. If you are someone who is looking for a laugh, a dark comedy, I would say the show is not for children. I have a hole in my stomach. But I would say that if you're a precocious 13 and up, I'm not sure what they're gonna market it to, but I would say 13 and up comfortably. Or if you're a precocious younger child and your parents have some conversations with you, you're probably okay there too. Also, the physicality of these dancers is incredible. The ensemble, incredible. 
back to the show. It's not a giant emotional catharsis, but it is a freaking great time that's beautiful. It's crazy, this season, by this season I mean next season or this coming season, 24-25 is already looking to be more packed than 23-24, which we didn't think could get crazier from 22-23. So it just, it keeps getting crazier. I, I hope all the best things for this show. I totally think it can find an audience. It should do well. I recommend it. So without like really nitpicking apart anything critically, that's what you need to know. If you want to have a great time, this show is going to give you a great time. Performances are incredible. Megan Hilty is truly exceptional. Chris Eber is fabulous always. And again, didn't get to see Jen Smart. Next time. That is my quick and dirty what you need to know about Death Becomes Her. I can't wait for more people to see this show. If you have seen Death Becomes Her, leave a comment below. If there's something in particular you're excited about or you have a question about it, leave a comment down below. As always, like, comment, subscribe. If you found this video enjoyable, which presumably you did because you've made it to this point, it's genuinely helpful to me as a new YouTube creator. Like it actually makes a difference. It's the surest way to let the YouTube algorithm know what wonderful people to push this video out to, people like yourself. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at it's Catherine Quinn. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.